I'm Dr. Randy Viola, and we're at the Stedman Clinic in Vail, Colorado. Today, we're going to perform a volar plate repair of the middle finger PIP joint using the ConMed True Shot Why Not. The anchor is drilled and placed using a single device. The simplicity allows for optimal placement of drill tunnels. The device is all polyester, so there is no metal, and the pullout strength of the device is outstanding. We'll use a larger than normal Bruner approach in order to show the anatomy. We open the interval between the radial and ulnar nerve vascular bundles. We expose the flexor sheath. The flexor sheath is open in the window between the A2 and A4 pulleys. Here's the PIP joint. Got a small remnant of the volar plate distally, really nothing that you can suture. Got a large volar plate proximally that's torn and retracted. The fingers got hyperextension locking, so we need an easy way to repair this. So we use the true shot, why not? We seat the device with the serrated edge on the proximal aspect of the base of the middle phalanx. Serrated edge locks it in place. The 1 7 drill passes 10 millimeters into bone. The device is tapped in until the blue portion of the frame lines up with the white portion of the frame. We deploy the trigger to deploy the device. We remove the sutures and gently slide it back. And the device is firmly seated inside the base of the middle phalanx, the attachment of the lower plate. The suture slides. Now we retract both of the flexor tendons. One limb of the suture anchor is passed through the distal aspect of the volar plate. The other limb is left free. That second limb is tensioned. The volar plate is advanced to its normal insertional site. The surgical assistant positions the PIP joint at the desired position of maximal extension. I usually choose 15 degrees. The sutures are then tied and the volar plate is repaired.